Hi and welcome along to another episode of The Wedding Band Show. Hopefully everyone's good this Friday evening, if if it is Friday, I do have to check these days. Um, hopefully everyone's doing well. Um, for obvious reasons, can't do The Wedding Band Show um, like I used to do in person. So what I'm going to do over the next few weeks is just check in with all the wedding suppliers and see how they're getting on. Um, so if you have any comments... Um, Leave them in the comment section and we'd love if you could share the video as well. And today on the show, we've got Richard McCarthy, photography. So we're going to check in with Richard now. Richard, how are you? Hey, Brian, how are you? Not too bad. I was just saying, it's hard to know if it's Friday or Saturday these days. Um, it's Friday? It is Friday, yeah. <laughs> it's, oh, all right, okay. in, it's all rolling into one. I thought it was Thursday. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, so what I'm going to do over the next few weeks is just check in with all the wedding suppliers, see how we're all getting on. So um, how's yep. things with you? Still here, still alive, you know. How's good. things with you these days? Good. Um, busy fool. I'm kind of catching up on admin stuff and hmm. chasing up. Uh, at the moment, it's kind of album season because um, uh, the Christmas deadlines are coming up in about two or three weeks' time, I think November 17th. Yeah. So I'm chasing up previous brides and couples um, just if they want to get an album for Christmas, now's the time to get it. Do you um, usually so do you usually have a do you usually have a rush where people get married during the year and then they they want the album for Christmas all of a sudden? Yeah, it, well, the what's happened over the last couple of years is um, the album hasn't been a priority for a lot of couples. A lot, well, a lot of my couples now. I only can talk in, in my my experience. Yeah. Um. So I, I don't put pressure on my couples to get the album straight away. So I, I normally try and kind of give them a bit of breathing space and then. When the wedding kind of excitement has settled down, um, I normally come back to them and say, look, do you want to start talking about albums? And I'm finding most couples want to wait, you know, six months or they want to wait a little while before they order albums. But yeah. given that the year we've had, there's not been many weddings kind of over yeah, this year. Know, so yeah. uh, a lot of my kind of brides that are, and couples that I'm, I keep saying brides, brides and grooms, grooms and grooms, brides and brides, couples, couples, couples yeah. um, that have gotten married over the last uh, 2019 and 2018. I'm just going back to them, reaching out to anybody who's forgotten about an album and, and now's the perfect time to do it. Yeah. I suppose. So the big question is, um, how has COVID really affected you during the year? In general, what like you, you as photographers, even under the, the restrictions at the minute, you can still work, can't you? So probably technically, um, so but most people have probably have you of, have you found most people have moved their wedding or how's your yeah? Year so been? any wedding that I've had um, for twenty twenty, they've rescheduled. I now some haven't. I still have mm. about maybe about seven or eight weddings still scheduled for right, this yeah. year. Um, but later in the year, it's kind of heading towards kind of the that's, end of December. That's about six, um, that's about six more than me. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I think it's everybody's waiting to see. So we're all kind know, of trying yeah. to see what's going to be the case in, in, in two or three weeks' time, or, well, in six weeks' time now at the moment. Yeah. Um, I have one wedding coming up during the restrictions, and they're still going to go ahead. Yeah. Um, so it raises the, the, the age-old question of, do you get married with the numbers you have? Or do you get married with kind of do you wait and, and see and get the you know the the two hundred or three hundred people you normally would have at your wedding or are you yeah. happy to have an intimate wedding with just twenty five? Yeah, I suppose. Um you know? like, well that leads me into what would your advice be for couples in early twenty one at this stage? Looking into your crystal um, ball. Into my crystal ball. I'm fairly optimistic. I've been optimistic with this whole thing in that there has to be kind of light at the end of the tunnel. So mm. my my gut feeling is that we, we are very close to a vaccine. Um, if you look at the latest news and you look at the, kind of the reports coming out, uh, most of the vaccines that are in, currently in trial, um, they're coming to the end of it and they're, they're looking like they will be approved. So yeah. there's 16, I think, vaccines at the moment in, in, in trial. Um, Pfizer one, I think, is, is coming to the, to the end in the next week or two. Yeah. So once it gets to that, then the FDA approve it and hopefully we have a vaccine. So that's the end goal. Um, if that happens in the next month, you're talking another couple of months before it goes into full production or if we even have. Uh, I heard a rumor that it's it's actually been if Pfizer. They have a lot of pre-production done, I think. Yeah, they have. Yeah, they have yeah, a lot of pre-production yeah. done. So and it's it's been produced. Our, it'll give us an advantage. But my 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 impression is. Or the common, say, the common sense logic to this is, look, it's not a case of everybody getting the vaccine. It's a case of the most vulnerable getting the vaccine and people who mm. need the vaccine to get the vaccine first. Yeah. Um, I don't think it's a case of everybody has to get the vaccine. Mm. Um, 
Um, so I think that's that, that that's the way I see it. I don't think it's kind of a, a every single person in the world will have to get this vaccine. I think it'll be more a case of the most vulnerable and the ones that are most affected by it will need the vaccine. Yeah. And if yeah. that happens, then there wouldn't be as much of a need of restrictions um, in that case. Yeah. So who knows? It'd be treated like with say any other kind of disease such as the flu or you know um, pneumonia and things like this, where it can be. It's more serious than, than those diseases, but um, the biggest issue they've had up to now was they, they didn't have a cure for it. So yeah. if they have a cure, maybe that, that'll help us. So Hopefully. my gut feeling is by you know January, February, March, the restrictions will be lifted. That's, so you, that's my crystal for the, ball. For the, co- for the couples who've moved to April um, or May, you'd be saying hold out for a while, is it? Um, Maybe yeah, I think though, like I would say I have had this question a lot in the last couple of weeks where I've had couples kind of going, we're thinking of moving our 2021 wedding or June 2021 wedding to June 2022, which yeah. is absolutely fine. And, and there's no problem at all with it. But I, I think it's, it's, it's a little earnest at the moment to, to do that because mm. your your wedding is still eight months away and you want to move it two years ahead. Yeah, uh, because every time I, I, I the computer the software that I use every time I put in a date for 2022 it's saying this date is two years in advance are you sure you want to make this date oh, um, sure. and I think that's the question people have to kind of think um, do I really want to put my wedding off for two years because we're yeah. still in 2020 yeah a lot, can, a lot can change in a couple of months too yeah you know um, like this has this all blew so. up really from March like an awful lot has happened in like about nine or ten months you know so yeah. another another three or four months hopefully could, yeah, uh, and I, I get the impression as well that the hotels are like last year when this this all blew up. I think the hotels did everything they could to help people. Hmm. This year they're thinking kind of more long term, and they're kind of going, okay, if we lock ourselves in for all these Plan Bs, um, mm-hmm. are we doing ourselves justice? Are we going to have enough capacity for twenty twenty two for new brides? Well, that, um, like yeah, that's a lot the, of couples that haven't even set their date yet. That's the thing, yeah. Like because every time you get locked in for a plan B as a backup, that's another date you can't sell then. Um, you know, yeah. as a hotel or a band or photographer or whatever. Um so yeah, you kinda have to gauge that too. Um but yeah, I'd be the same, just kinda I'd wait and see and then maybe in January if things still look like they are, you could maybe consider moving then. You know, but well, I like, don't... How, how are you looking for kind of like January, February, March? We'll say, what are you looking um, in regard to Facebook or... It's not yeah, quite time. Yeah, from, from about, yeah, there's a there's a few in kind of February. And then from March on, it is busy from all the overspill from last year. Um, yeah. So it just it just depends on whether they're all going to hold there or not. Um, but it, I, I kind of say, look, my, my gut feeling would be there's no mad panic to move. Um, so hold off till maybe after Christmas forget about it and then in January if things like that don't look any better maybe then consider moving or talk to your suppliers um, yeah you know and put a plan B in um, in place so what keep have you calm been doing and get married that's yeah. that's the key word keep yeah. calm and get married what have you been doing you know? with all your spare time or have you I had any spare time Trump, you know my, my, my Trump impressions and the fingers and all that. <laughs> um, no I, I've been catching up on work um, like there's still a lot of work kind of in the pipeline that um, um, I still need to get done there's been a lot of commercial stuff at the moment um, we, we've moved into property photography um, you know yourself we say yeah, you, you're doing the video a few jobs yeah. um, so we, we do a bit of kind of um, you know, photography and videography and um, and virtual tours and stuff for um, for the property market. Um, mm. So that has taken off. Um, looks like there's a lot of people moving west, which is a good. Yeah. Um, but it's it's it, it's an emerging market. It's something that um, we kind of we fell into a little bit. Um, I know from the video point of view, it's kind of it's starting off from. from it's taken off from from your side. We'll say there is a lot. Yeah, of well, in, in the video, like like property videos are massive in the states and that, but it never really yeah. took off here. But I think now people need it. Like it helps to sell any property without having to Absolutely. travel. You know, especially in um, in the current climate. Yeah, and it, it makes a big difference. Like we say, if you have somebody who is selling a house and they, you know, the person can literally can see the you know the internals of the house mm. and see it from kind of a wide angle view or and actually from a smartphone um and yeah. even the virtual tour thing has taken off dramatically where people can really walk around the house yeah um that's a big thing now um, um and it, these are the things like we say you've you've the next six weeks where people can't go visit houses um because of the lockdown 
um, they can do it at home. So yeah, it works quite yeah. well. So, well, yeah, from the video side as well, there is a few jobs, but it's kind of held up just with this uh, this second lockdown. So there'll be a few jobs in before Christmas. But um, yeah, it's still, look, you know, it, I always, my approach is always things could be worse. You know, you just have to kind, oh, of, absolutely. You kind of have to slightly adapt if you can, you know, and, yeah. and maybe have another little thing building up on the side. And like the weddings, I've no doubt they will come back. Um, I'm yeah. not I'm not planning in my head that they're coming back in March. Um, just in case, you know. I so still have five for this year. <laughs> yeah, I'm well, you know what I mean. Like in five. in general, that the 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 usual that will be returning to normal business in March. Yeah. Hopefully, we will. Um, but I, I'm not I, I, just I, in my head. I, I don't think, think like that in case. Yeah. you know. But do you think that they'll go back to the level they were, where we had three hundred people at a wedding or, or or bigger, or do you think it's going to be weddings where there's only going to be you know a hundred people max? Um. I don't know. I think, I think, see, some of the bigger weddings that were happening, I think that they were because of maybe kind of pressure, you know, that they felt they had to invite people. Um, so there's going to be, there's a bit of an opening now for people that would prefer a smaller wedding. You know, I don't, I don't think they'll feel under pressure to invite all the neighbors and all the cousins and all that that they don't like because, you know, because of the trend that has kind of started. Um, but then there'll be, you know, this, you know yourself sometimes you get a, a groom that might play football or something and he's inviting all the teams and you know there's 300 people at the wedding and um, that'll still happen you know when it opens up um but yeah but you also have to look at it, the other scenario where you have people who will go should i go to this wedding you know well yeah until yeah, yeah, yeah. Is, until until there's vaccines level up and kind everything, of nervousness yeah. of yeah. the guests and stuff like that going you know i've got elderly at home maybe i shouldn't be put myself in this situation you mm. know so I think people will find that the, it's going to be uncertain for the next couple of months, at least anyway. But I, I don't think like it gone is the day where, you know, you invite you had to invite people. Yeah. Whereas during the current climate, you're in a scenario where people, if they don't get invited, they're not, you know, you just um, pick your favorite 25, bond. your favorite 25. <laughs> That's the hardest part. <laughs> um, you know, and, and the other thing, actually, a lot of people didn't really like to say there was like, an argument going on for so long about 25 had to include the suppliers. Yeah, yeah. Um, that all has been but corrected, it doesn't it, it doesn't it doesn't it doesn't include, it doesn't include no. no and that makes sense you know yeah and even um, with the uh the latest restrictions they had a list on the website saying who can be allowed um and they said photographer but that that actually includes a videographer as well the videographer is allowed to be there it's kind of this the no, same thing no, it doesn't no. <laughs> yes, it does. yes, yes it does or, or just scrap <laughs> the photographer and get a video take some take some stills of it um, yeah, but no, on our side, I suppose, there's no music, no dancing, no bands, uh, no hair and makeup, which, yeah, oh, that, that was... Okay, that's, that's one area I don't understand, okay? It doesn't make sense to me that you can have the sound system in the hotel playing background music, but you can't have a band playing background music. Hmm. But what, can you... What, that make I, sense. I suppose that, like, I got this question the other day because I had a couple that were asking me about it, um, and I wasn't sure... Can you have a DJ if there's no dancing and he just sets up a sound system like that to play background music? Don't know. You know, you you you'd be more in the know about this than I would, but I, I, I would know. I would assume it is okay because what's the difference? Well, okay, and this is well, yeah, this is yeah I suppose you could argue do a lot more than literally pressing a button. But <laughs> my my <laughs> argument is is. I know, I'm just opening it. I'm just digging a hole here. Yeah, yeah, DJs yeah. obviously do a lot more than that. Yeah. No, my, my point is that we we'll say... You uh, use autofocus, Richard, do you? Do I? Yes, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> same thing, yeah. Go on. Yeah. It's not the same thing. <laughs> um, but no, no, my point My point is, what's, what's the difference between, you know, um, the hotel staff pressing a button to play background music and the DJ playing a song? Yeah. Yeah, I you think know, I yeah. know that he does a lot more, and he's got more equipment and some of that, and there's mm. more thought put into it. But what I'm saying is, when it comes down to it, a, you know, it's basically two sound systems playing 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 a song. You probably would be allowed to get a guy in a DJ in to play background music, um, as long as there's no dancing. Mm. I'd imagine. Um, I think the no, so no dancing. Dance yeah, the no yes, dancing. Sit at a table with two decks and just play there. Yeah. <laughs> um. So and as. On the on the big picture, then any positives out of this whole thing for you? Um, I I, I had two weddings recently, um, and I absolutely loved them. 
Mm. because I had so much more time with, with my couples. Um, yeah. So, for example, one of the weddings, and I'm hoping to put photographs out recently, um, or sorry, I'm hoping to put out photographs this weekend of the wedding. Um, I was talking to the bride this morning uh, about this, but mm. um, I literally had uh, a bride who was literally doing full gallop across Street of Beach on her horse okay. um, in her wedding dress. Okay. And the literally the sand lifting from the horse's feet and everything. It was just a magical photograph. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I, I know be able to do that. Like a, a lot of couples would have been, especially brides, would have been quite nervous about jumping on a horse with their wedding dress. If I was but prepared, was if I was prepared there now and you had permission, this is where I'd put that picture on the screen. But I'm not there yet. It's no, fir first live I, I, broadcast. I, I, yeah. <laughs> yes, we'll get there. We'll get there. We'll but get there, uh, yeah. no, I, I'm hoping I, I, I have to. Um, I had just have to show the well the bride has gotten her photographs but yeah uh, i've asked her if i could put some photographs up online and um she just wants which is always the case yeah um, and it's always i recommend with with every couple that they should kind of get a first preview before any of their photographs get put up online yeah um yeah. but i know this is one of the photographs that she would love to see online yeah and um you know, what about um, um at home then with the family have you got uh, some extra time at weekends Sorry, I lost you there for a minute. You said something about saying, extra yeah. time with have you, family. Have you, or, <laughs> yeah. Extra time with the weekends. I know I have. I've got a load of DIY um, jobs. Yeah, no, it's, it's cool. I, I kind of, the one thing we, we have found is we started off with the lockdown where we were playing video, you know, we'd play board games and card games and the whole lot. And now at this stage, we're all kind of going, right, we'll just, we'll do our own thing. One yeah. of us is watching, <laughs> one of us watching something else. And, There'd be no novelty in Christmas or, now because... Well, I'm hoping it, it will was, come back to that, like yeah. over Christmas, I think. And uh, tomorrow's a big day, Halloween, so we'll do loads of stuff, Halloween styles, uh, style stuff tomorrow. So um, that's kind of uh, the weekends is, is a bit weird. It's yeah. waking up on a Saturday and kind of going, "Have I?" You know, you, for for those split seconds, you wake up and you kind of going, "Have I got a wedding today?" Have I, yeah, you know, I know. Yeah, I have a wedding today, or you know, uh, it's that kind of nightmare. Every Saturday morning, you kind of wake up and going, "Okay." I You're a bit I nervous. Know. I'm always a bit nervous about nine o'clock that the phone yeah. will ring. Where are you? I'm like, what? You know, it hasn't happened yet. One but, or um, two. are off the phone. So, you know, I'd have to we have that uh, at a wedding this weekend for that. We have a message in from Ailish Egan. Hey, there. Ailish. Yeah, are we're still alive. Still alive, yeah. <laughs> in Sligo. Uh, very good. Um, and of course, um, Ailish, so is, yeah, uh, it's, it's, Ailish uh, is it Ballina Blossoms? Uh, yes, Ballina yeah, Blossoms. Doing, yeah, she's doing flowers. Uh, she, she, so yeah. Just the look with her shop. It's, it's gorgeous. Um, I've seen some of the stuff she's put up. It's fantastic. Yeah. Um, I met Ailish at the... Um, oh, you were there as well. We met at the Ocean Sands um, wedding fair there two weeks ago. Two, three yeah. Weeks ago. Um, so that was great fun, kind of catching up with everybody. I think that's that's the thing I miss the most is kind of meeting up with suppliers. You know, because yeah. we normally meet them at weddings and, you know, you'd be chatting about everything and the whole lot. And it was like when we met like at the, the wedding expo, Everybody's wearing masks, and then it took a second or two to kind of recognize everybody. But it was also a case of it was everybody's like, "So, any news?" You know? Yeah, I think the, the that, that no. day at the that day in the Ocean Sands wedding fair, I spent more time talking to suppliers than couples because <laughs> I hadn't I hadn't seen anyone in so long. It was um, yeah, yeah, it was nice. To but I, I thought it was a good uh, it was a good wedding fair because she had um, coordinated with all the couples to come yeah. in at certain times. Yeah. So normally with a wedding expo, we're bombarded by you know, a couple of bri a couple of uh, different couples at the same time, and mm. you're trying to talk to two or three people at the same time, and it was just lovely to be able to spend time with each couple and go through things and make sure they were happy with everything. You know. Mm. And how are you? Um, you're still uh, like taking on new bookings, obviously. Um, what's the yeah, trend? It, it, what's the trend it's there? Quite busy. Um, Is it 22? 20, 20, 20, yeah. 2022. I still have one or two coming in for 21, but most are 2022 coming in at the moment. Um, which is great to see. I think people are planning ahead. Um, you still will get some for 2021. Um, uh, I think everybody's looking kind of a year and a half, so normally this time, 2021. Yeah. So it kind of works in that order. But um, no, 2022 is the main ones, So uh, which is good. It's great to see kind of people are planning at least a year and a bit in advance yeah. um, of this. And I think the, the latest scenario has kind of caused that, you know? Yeah, I, I got a new one for September 21 in Belfast there the other day, um, which is cool. Um, so, yeah, and look, we're hoping oh. everything will be sorted out by then. Uh, what's Ailish saying? Thanks, guys. Uh, I'll let Mrs. McDermott and Mrs. McCarthy uh, know you have my number. Yeah, my, my wife doesn't like phones. Uh, no. Yeah. 
No, so my hip flares too, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you won't be getting yeah. any custom they're, they're hair hairish. No. Um, yeah, sorry. So that's it, Richard. Thanks for just checking in with you. Um, where can people find out Ooh. more information about Richard McCarthy photography? Um, for corporate work okay, or, well, or weddings? Yeah, so this year it gave me time to kind of amalgamate all the different kind of areas of business. So they're all yeah. on the richardmccarthy.ie now. Um, so There's a new customer handy. straight um, away. <laughs> no, that's my wife. Um, <laughs> Looking for so, flowers. <laughs> uh, yeah, you can find me mostly on richardmccarthy.ie. Yeah. Uh, that's the easiest way to find me. And yeah. everything's on there. That's great. Okay, well, cool. um, that's it. Thanks for coming on and talking to us. And uh, to everyone no else out there, thanks for watching. And um, yeah, I'll be checking in with more suppliers. Mike Avalish should call tomorrow. Too, see exactly. how she's getting on. And um, yeah, if you could share this video, that would be great. And we'll talk to everybody sure. soon. So thanks very much. Yeah.